Right, if you're trying to lose weight and trying to go from an unhealthy lifestyle to a healthy lifestyle, let me explain why it's so important not only just to go through the journey, but to learn about nutrition and to learn about exercising. Because there's so many different paths to get into your end result, and, but each path will have a different outcome. And some paths might give you instant gratification, but delayed consequences. Some paths might give you instant gratification and delayed positivity. Uh, I believe I know quite a lot about nutrition and exercising, but I still believe I need to learn, I can still learn a lot more. So, but I do know enough to be able to function well throughout the day and how to determine my day because of exercise and nutrition. So depending on if I have meetings or if I have an event or if I'm playing with my son or if I have my son for the day or if I'm feeling unwell, I know what nutrition I can do to help have a greater outcome, to give me more positivity, to give me more energy, to help me function better through a challenge, to help me become healthier, depending on some, if I feel ill, obviously not all illness, I don't cure any illnesses, but I know nutrition that's gonna help me feel better. I know, you know, what times I can eat, and if it's when to, you know, never not eat anything for a day, why the benefits and how to do it, and the lights off. Right, but let me explain it in a different way so you might understand. So if, let's say hypothetically you wanted to borrow some money and you wanted to borrow like a thousand pounds. If you went to a lender, different lenders have different outcomes and different terms and conditions. Now before you went to borrow the money, you'd probably want to understand the terms and conditions. Uh, otherwise you could be putting yourself into some serious trouble. Now some lenders will dangle a carrot and give you an appealing option which will peel instantly, but the delayed consequence can be quite severe. So let's say, for example, there could be an option where a lender will lend you a thousand pounds and you don't have to pay anything for a year, not a single penny. But in 12 months time, you then have to pay 60 or 75% interest rate, which is quite bad. Or you could have a different lender who will lend you a thousand pounds, but you have to pay an interest rate, say like two to 7%, but you have to pay it instantly. So as soon as you get the money, the next month you have to start paying it back with a two to seven percent interest rate. Now the first one is not as appealing of the offset because you have to spend money straight away, but it is far greater in the long run for you and financially. The first option, obviously, is not as good. Nutrition and exercising is the exact same. You can lose weight. If you wanted to lose weight, you could lose weight by eating cheesecake, eating McDonald's, um, eating drinking alcohol and stuff like that, but the outcome is not so good and it can be, have consequences. You can lose weight in that way, but by the end result, you can be skinny fat. So your body's not filled with the things that it needs. Your body is a machine and you have to put the right things into it. If you put the right things to it, the right things come out. If you put the wrong things to it, it don't function as properly. And that's the same. Now, the best way to understand it is looking at your body like a farm, okay? Whatever you seed into a farm will grow, the farm will grow. If you seed poison into the farm, it will grow poison. If you seed um, corn into the farm, it will grow corn. Same with your body. If you put crap in your body, you have a crap outcome. If you put goodness in your body, you have a good outcome. And that's why I hate, I don't like the word hate, but when I hear people say, all you need to be is in a calorie deficit, that is very true. To lose weight, you do need to be in a calorie deficit. But that means you could be in a calorie deficit and consuming McDonald's and consuming alcohol and you could still be in a calorie deficit. But when you put that stuff in your body, it's rubbish and your body's got to try and process that through your body. And your body's not designed to process McDonald's and the lights off. So when you put that stuff into your body, your body has to compensate in different ways to try and get it out of your system. And the way it does it, it compensates by, you know, it changes your mood, it changes your energy levels, it changes the way you function, you know, raises your high blood pressure, cholesterol and all that sort of stuff and the delayed consequences, it might not happen within a year, it might happen like in five years or 10 years, it could be severe medical problems, which no one wants. Now, so that's why calories obviously is important to an extent, but it's, what's more important is what you consume. I have a weight loss company and I deal with, well, we've got over 100 clients or members and probably, a handful of them are counting the calories, 
the rest of them are just, I give them a nutrition plan and a very clever method where all it is is focus on eating healthily because if you eat healthily and sprinkle a bit of exercise on top, your body will function well enough and it's very hard to overconsume because your body's always getting everything it needs and you change. And I've had people go from like a size 22 to a size 12, from a size 16 to a size 8, who don't, haven't counted any calories at all. They just focus on becoming healthier. Now, we are very honest. So when people come to us, we highlight, it's not gonna be easy because for you to change, you have to change your lifestyle to a different lifestyle. And to change your lifestyle from this side, want from an unhealthy lifestyle to a healthy lifestyle is a hard transition which means you have to do a lot more of the good stuff and a lot less of the bad stuff which means you have to exercise more regularly because you have to do it it's, well you don't have to you don't have to do anything but if you want to be healthy you should be exercising and you need to spend more time eating healthier options over the unhealthy options but the healthy options are delicious and you can get used to eating healthy options and to start off with Doing this could be quite hard, time consuming and inconvenient with your lifestyle. Um, but if you spend the time doing this now, it means you have to spend less time in the future trying to compensate for your poor health. A lot of people don't do anything until they need to do something. People don't, a lot of people don't do anything until they go to the doctors and the doctors are like, right, you've got all these medical problems now, so for you to be able to survive, you're gonna to have to take all these tablets and, and all this sort of stuff to be able to survive, which is probably not what you want to do. So if you work hard now, you have to work hard less in the future because you're healthy. If you don't do much now, you have to work harder in the future to remain alive. And, and I, I know it's quite hard because uh, I'm, I do weight loss myself, so I own a weight loss gym. So when I look through my social media, I get a lot of weight loss companies promoting to me because they obviously think I want weight loss, it's just I'm part of the weight loss algorithm. And I get all the different ads from different companies. So for, from the untrained eye, I can see why it's so easy to be drawn into false marketing with crap with people saying, you can come lose weight with doing very little exercise and eat whatever you want, whenever you want, because that's hocus pocus. And obviously there's all the surgeries and stuff like that. And I know there's some situations where surgeries may be appropriate, but for the majority of it, it's not. And it is, a, it is the easy option. Um, and so the best advice I could probably give to you guys there's, there's no magic pills, there's no magic potions, or there's no secrets to weight loss. It's very simple. Good nutrition and exercising regularly, consistently, and for the rest of your life is what you need to do. So the two things that you need to learn about is nutrition and exercising. Learn about different methods of nutrition. So when I say different methods, intermittent fasting's a method, carb cycling's a method, keto diet's a method, um, vegetarian's a method, uh, vegans method and all of them have pros and some of them have cons we are all different different human beings well as human beings like our fingerprints we're not one of us are the same so we all function differently even though we've got you know on the outside we've all got the same we've got eyes we've got hair we've got nose we've got a mouth but we all look different we've got and we're different height different color different hair color different length fingers and stuff like that in the inside it's the same we've got all the same features hearts organs and etc all the same types of bones but we also function differently inside to one another because quick example if you give someone nuts it could nourish them if you give someone else nuts it could kill them because they're allergic to it so different methods each in a weight loss method scientifically done so you can lose weight in each weight loss method or nutrition method but each method will be slightly different to you than someone else so but when you learn it and understand it you can understand the benefits of it the cons of it why it works and how it should work and the best way to, to fully understand it is to put yourself through it so put yourself through a nutrition plan once you've researched it and learned about it and with each plan take about six weeks should be about enough time to give you an idea of how good how bad it is for you and your lifestyle um, and then you have a first-hand understanding but by doing this you understand how nutrition works um, and what it does for you and for your body but also when you know about things like this it makes you choose better options so for example like l lending the money if you was going to lend 50 quid off someone and they said there's going to you know they want you to pay back 100 pounds by tomorrow you're probably not going to do it because it's quite a big ask back and it's probably not worth it 
when you understand about nutrition, for example, bread, white bread or brown bread, or whole wheat, you know, white bread, brown bread, whole wheat, there's three different types of bread there, I've just said, and the difference of them, you know, white bread, there's, there's sugar in white bread and all other stuff, and um, whole wheat is probably the most natural. Uh, it's not natural, but you understand. But understanding the difference of how important it is what kind of bread you should choose and why you shouldn't choose that and why you should choose this one. You know, like people talk about eggs, how it gives you cholesterol and how it doesn't give you cholesterol. But if you understand about eggs, eggs can be perfectly fine for you and your body. It depends on how many eggs you eat, how well it's going to be. And if you don't eat enough eggs, you probably won't get the benefits of it. Um, and understand about fluids. You know, people always ask me, can I drink juice? Can I drink squash? You can drink whatever you want, but you just understand the outcomes of it. If you drink juice and squash, there's stuff in it like that's probably not the healthiest stuff you can drink water or you can infuse water and you can get fruit put it into a jar put it in the fridge overnight and it's probably even nicer than uh, juice but you've got vitamins and minerals from the fruit or if you want to put a bit of vegetables in it like cucumber and stuff like that it's delicious so understand about nutrition next size serves you for your health it also helps you create better options. You don't have to ask anyone else, and the, out, the longer term outcome is gonna be far greater for a longevity life. So myself, who've been doing it pretty much since 2005, know a lot, and I still try and learn to this day. And that's the best advice I can give you towards your weight loss journey. If you don't know what to do, we obviously offer, a, I believe, an incredible weight loss program where we take people through a journey and through that journey you learn about our methods and what we do and how you can implement it and you can have a first-hand experience yourself so be careful learn about it take the time your body is the greatest invention ever created and it's the greatest thing to understand it won't take long to understand enough that you need to know to be able to get you to a healthier position um, but that's my message to you have a great day and hopefully we'll see you soon see you in the next one